we're backstage at Fort Sun 2017 and we are with Dear Seattle. Hello, I'm Josh. <laughs> Hello, I'm Jeremy. G'day, I'm Simo. Aloha, I'm Bray. So you guys are from the northern beaches in Sydney. So I know this, I'll tell you what I do know and then I want you to tell me what I don't know. Northern beaches in Sydney, kind of 90s grunge style music, okay? And we've had a couple of years of working out what our sound and our signature sound is. So now I'm gonna throw a really curly one. Describe your music if I was deaf. Oh, Shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, describe your music using only feeling. Uh, angry. <laughs> <laughs> you know when like someone rubs really softly on your skin on the inside of your forearm? Ooh, is that the third person shit? Yeah, the opposite. <laughs> what do you want to tell me about where you're at and, and where, where your music's going or what you want your fans to know? Yeah, this year's been pretty cool. Um, we've been given heaps of uh, opportunities to grow as a band, lots of shows to play. So, yeah, exactly. Bray's gotten really muscly this year too. So, um, yeah, just like lots of opportunities and we're going to play as many shows as we can. That's pretty much where we're at, I think. Mainly just promoting, like, we've got the EP out, like, through Domestic Lila now, the label that we've just signed to. Um, and, yeah, there's vinyls that we put out and everything, so we'd love, like, people grab that because, like, we've remastered the EP and everything for it, remixed it specifically for that so it sounds all minty fresh for you. And then, yeah, that's probably about it. So now I want to know about the structure of writing songs. Who's the songwriters amongst the group? Is there someone that writes lyrics? Someone? Are we in a collaboration? You two? Yeah. So who does the melody? Who does the lyrics? Both? Uh, I'll say I do both. <laughs> right, i got to remember to put the microphone back. It's all good. It's all good. Is this like, is that recording the vocals? Yeah. Vocals? Yeah. Oh, it's what you can hear. It's all good. Okay. Oh, David? Yeah. Dave, alright, I'll just quit like every 10 minutes or something testing Dave. You got Dave? Dave, yeah. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> um, no, I'd say like with the writing process, like for the EP that we put out, it's, um, that was definitely like more of a communal process kind of thing. Like we went away to a farm for about a week and just like slogged it out as a group, just jammed in a room. Um, and I'd say we'll probably do the same thing with the album, but for the preliminary, like the starting stages now, um, like I've kind of set up my room as like a home studio thing so I've just been writing lots of demos there like Simo's been doing a lot on his own as well and like I think we'll probably just get the basis together a bit more like between us two but then we'll get the rest of the boys in like for the finishing touches and get everything like to a really good spot with the whole group yeah Was it your idea to come up with drinking out of the shoe? Or, yeah yeah or, and or, okay tell, it, tell us about it uh, I just thought it was, a shoe's a great container for beer, so yeah, it contains your feet well, a lot of great flavours in your foot. <laughs> Whose shoes were they? Whoever's. So they didn't matter, they weren't new shoes, they were just like buddy pass your shoe up. That's fucked up dude. <laughs> My daughter over here just did year 12, scavenger hunt, and that was on the list of scavenger hunt stuff. So I ask you, I'm going to pass the microphone, I want you to tell us one thing that your other band member doesn't know about you? One thing that, we're a very honest and open bunch. Yeah, I love you. <laughs> I'm very ashamed to say I used Jeremy's toothbrush last night. And I didn't tell him about it. I washed it thoroughly. I'm really sorry, I forgot mine. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have dark thoughts about <laughs> yeah, look <laughs> I want to kill you <laughs> so these guys are drinking some of our own homegrown uh, beers from the Black Duck Brewery so we had the lager and the roulette I'm not sure which one's which no no we'll cover that brand what are you doing get, get the fuck off the lounge this is Port Macquarie. The only beer you drink in Port Macquarie comes from Big Al over there, and it's from the Black Duck Brewery. Tell us a magic mushy story. Well, well, well. <laughs> <laughs> nah, actually, 
Actually, really lame story. Just went to Bali, had mushroom shakes. Yeah, Bali, dude. I thought that was a. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What the fuck, dude? Like Cheers. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, so we were all wigging out, watching the TV. We thought everyone was aliens on the TV. That was weird. We all got naked, jumped in the pool, and then we thought there was a dog in the house, but there was no dog. That's pretty much my my trip. If anyone's like has mushies that they're trying to get rid of, <laughs> hook me up because I'm fucking keen. But <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Magic machine, oh just for you. Yeah. I absolutely love my time spent with you guys on the couch. This has been so much fun. We'll see them tomorrow on the stage. Thanks, guys.